Hi, Super Spruce here, back with our answer. I mentioned doing a minus four video, episode 22, and, well, this happened. I lost my galaxy upgrades. I have no idea. I mean, maybe I didn't lose them, but I don't have a display. And, I can only get four galaxy points. Despite me having 58th dimensions, or no, not 58th dimensions, I have 38th dimensions right now, but six dimension boosts, three tick speed boosts, a galaxy, and seven time dimension boosts. I don't remember it being like this. So, and I still have the infinity upgrade, so I'm just gonna try, I'm gonna export my save, I'm gonna galactic sacrifice, and I lost my galaxy upgrades. That is so strange. Wow. Okay then. See you in a bit. Okay, so it's been quite a while later. I have E-102 antimatter, and I can get 8 galaxy points, so it's almost enough to get both of these upgrades, but I can just get one, and one galaxy point is going to be very easy to get, so I'll get this, I will get this upgrade, and I probably want to turn off my automation, because it's, it's, it's faster just to do it like this, if I'm like actively playing because it's probably only going to take like 30 seconds, or under a minute at least, to to get a galaxy point. So, and then once I get that, I can get the normal time dimensions, gain a multiplier based on time spends, galactic sacrifice. So, now I have three dimension shifts, four dimension shifts. I don't, I'm not even sure if I need a time dimension shift at this point. I just want to get the one galaxy. Shouldn't be that hard to get. There we go. We have like 500% in heat, and there, actually 900%. So here's the first Antimatter Galaxy. Now it's going to be even easier to get the dimension shifts going. And I may want to push a little farther because it may be quicker to get like two or three galaxy points instead of just one. And let's see, I mean, I'm not sure. Maybe it'll be better to just get one because then I'll be able to get this upgrade. It's not really a powerful upgrade if you're doing quick runs, though. I mean, it, it'll help, but not that much. Here is where I can get the time dimension shift for the quick galaxy point, but I'm, I'm really thinking that I can get like two galaxy points in less than double the time. So here's the next dimension shift. That means it's safe to do one more time dimension shift. And let's see how far we can get now. Probably get two galaxy points, I think. Yeah, here's two galaxy points. So, um, I could try to go for three. That definitely is possible. I may be getting greedy, but that's what I'm going to be doing. Because I, I feel like I, I can already get two here, and once I get the next time dimension shift, um, which is at E50 antimatter, or I can just do this. This is three galaxy points. I'll just get that. That means I can get this upgrade, and if I just do another three galaxy point run, I can get the next upgrade here. And this allows me to get more galaxies, which means a lot more galaxy points. So that's the plan. You can see each dimension shift is just taking a few seconds now. So this is really good for this portion of the infinity. Like I I think I think I made the right choice here. And next run is gonna be even better with this. I could again exploit the challenges like the third dimension autobuyer challenge. I really I just don't like doing that. I feel like it's cheating. And like I, I just feel I, I I've been trying to push for like those exploits to be fixed or to like be patched. Like maybe, for example, this multiplier the the most challenge three multiplier should only go up to um like this bonus should only go up to what it initially was at the start. And same with like challenge seven. I think challenge seven is actually easier than normal runs, which is I, I don't I don't get. I that should be changed from instead of point zero three all the way to ten, it should be point zero three to two. And I feel like that would just be far more balanced. Anyway, now we can start getting dimension shifts and time dimension shifts. It's a little bit quicker than last run. And here is where I get the next time dimension shift. And then, next dimension shift, it's only at 28th dimensions, which is pretty easy, easy to get. 
Um, I could try to go, not Galactic Sacrifice, Dimensional Sacrifice. But now I can just get one more Time Dimension Shift. And this will allow me to hopefully get the three Galaxy Points. Actually, I already, I already had three Galaxy Points. Maybe I can get four out of this. Because, yeah, I'm just going to be greedy. And it's still three. So I'll just get this three Galaxy Points. Now I can... Really? A rounding error? Oh my god. Also, I probably do want to get some automation going. I want to probably get all the Dimension Auto Buyers going and the Tick Speed Auto Buyer um, instead of just holding M. I probably, I definitely should get automatic Dimension Boosts, but I think everything else, I I mean, I'll, I may also want the automatic Dimensional Sacrifice, but, and also Automated Galaxies. But everything else, I don't think I... I need so yeah um, let's see I have zero of zero galaxies actually maybe I shouldn't be getting the dimension boost auto buyer because it always purchases this fifth dimension shift which wastes some time but yeah I just have to deal with it all I need to do is get one galaxy point here and it's gonna be so much easier to get galaxy points after this I think what I'll do I'll just turn off the dimension boost auto buyer and just keep the galaxy one on so one more dimension shift, and then a time dimension shift, and here is the one galaxy point. So now I can get this. This is a game changer for, like, I, I know you've already seen this because, you know, it's, the infinity is a prestige layer, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting seeing it with this massive 73 times boost. That's like, essentially, a day's worth of this upgrade. And, like, that with... Like, even a low power of this upgrade is, like, multiple days with that upgrade. So, it makes, essentially, the long runs of before the same power as the short runs now. So, yeah, you can see I'm now getting close to one galaxy. Two galaxies should be pretty easy. The galaxies are also stronger, even though they're still extremely weak. Um, unfortunately, like, they, they get stronger once you get like multiple of them, and especially once you start getting tick speed boosts. But at the like early on, galaxies do almost nothing, and I really don't like that. But anyway, four dimension boosts, time dimension boost. Um, actually, okay, that's I, I probably should do do that. It helps. I need to do get all the way up to twenty dimensions. So that was probably a, at least an okay decision to make. Because now I have to get all the way up to E47 antimatter. And here is the second galaxy. So this is where things start to get a little bit crazy. Like you can see even bef before I was at E102 antimatter and I had like 58th dimensions. That's enough to get another galaxy. So yeah, and then once I start getting like time dimension shifts. I w yeah, the second galaxy does seem significantly quicker than the first galaxy. This does actually have some decent powered effect to it. It may also be may be because this is a little more powerful. And also, I think it's just because I'm getting more tick speed upgrades from time dimensions than before. So, yeah, I just want to get E50 antimatter to get this time dimension shift. And you can just see, not only am I getting a lot more antimatter than before, I'm getting a lot more galaxy points. So, this is why... Um, this really changes it. And once you, once I get this, the 20 galaxy point upgrade, this will give me a 9 times multiplier on galaxy points. So you can see how powerful that's going to be. I think I do want the 1 tick speed boost because it does help make getting to 38th dimensions a lot quicker than before. And then once I do that, get one more dimension boost and a time dimension boost, I could try to... Galactic Sacrifice, or it could just go on a longer run and um, and like do it from there. So you can see, yeah, the one dimension boost actually really helps there. I'm already up to 11 galaxy points. And if I can get E67 Antimatter, which isn't even that hard, I would probably be able to get some more galaxy points. And this is 13 galaxy points just for getting the next, um, just for getting 38 dimensions. So... I think if I was trying to do optimal runs, I could do runs like this. Still may not really be optimal. Like, I think I'm going to get, like, 14. This is 14 galaxy points. So, I'll do that. 
and I'll probably just get five galaxy points off camera so I can get this upgrade. And once I get this upgrade, I'll probably just do another off camera run so I can get the 50 galaxy point upgrade. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back in I have E120 antimatter, and I can get 488 galaxy points after getting this upgrade. So, yeah, this is going to be pretty OP. This I can get this. I probably even want to get this one as well. And I'm just going to see how quick it is. I probably should just have... I'm not sure if I should have automation on. At least want the galaxy is automated. Um, I mean, actually, I probably want Dimension Boost automated, honestly. It's not that much of a time loss if it's this quick normally. So, yeah, I guess I can also do time dimension boost. I probably don't want that automated because um, it does reset the dimension boosts. And you can just see how quickly I can get galaxy points now. So, yeah, two galaxies. Um, just get the, the few time dimension shifts. Um, seven, I can get the one tick speed boost. And... Yeah, just keep getting 159 galaxy points. That's that's the strategy. It isn't even that hard. Just get these 7 here and get 7 here. And then just get galaxy points like that. So, probably even want to get the tick speed boost give 32 free tick speed purchases each. And, yeah, this is you can see how overpowered this is. I'm getting like 800 galaxy points per minute. I really should turn off the confirmation. Um, it's probably right here. Seriously, I do not need a confirmation to do gal galactic sacrifices. Oh, that's just dumb. So just do this. Um, gotta get the time dimension shifts going in the right time. And if I get it at the right time, I can get a thousand galaxy points per minute. If I do it at the wrong time, maybe I do want to turn on the um, automatic time dimension boost. Maybe it's... I'm not sure. Let's see how good this even is. Probably okay, but not great. What's this gonna do? Mm, this doesn't look very good. The thing is, it's just time dimension boosting whenever possible, and it's only giving me half of what I would normally do. So I'm just gonna do it manually because it's it's quicker if I do that. And then just get this five, six, and then seven. And yeah, maybe I should try to get another upgrade at this point. Maybe I want to do a longer run. Um, I think this one does really... Um, some of these upgrades start really helping once I start getting a lot of things going. But, I mean, maybe I want the Tixie boost here. That does help. Um, I'm not sure if that actually gives better galaxy points per minute. That's probably not giving any better galaxy points per minute. So, I don't really need to do that. I'll just get the time dimension shifts. Should just be holding M the whole time. That's going to speed things up more than what I currently have. And if I just keep doing this, I can get over 1,000 galaxy points per minute. So, yeah, maybe I want to get one of the upgrades again. Uh, one of these upgrades. Um, I'm, okay, I'll just do it. And that was a waste. Okay, I should not have gotten that because it does nothing. I hate that it's based on your galaxy points and then... You need another thousand galaxy points to actually make it do anything. That's just really dumb, and I don't like that decision. But whatever. I think once I start get once that once I start getting um, the upgrades, like I think all I want is just a few thousand galaxy points. That's really all I I want. Like if I can get three thousand more galaxy points, that would be huge. And maybe I could even get just galaxies quicker than before. So, yeah, it's, it's it's a little bit repetitive, but I really shouldn't be ex complaining about the speed here. And just get this. Like I'm, I'm getting more and more galaxy points per minute. Like, that was like 1,300 per minute. If I do this, and I'm quick about this, I, okay, that's about 1,250 per minute. This is now 1.3. Maybe I should try to go for a longer run, just to see if it does anything. Um... Doesn't seem actually. I don't even have time dimension boosts here. If I can go up to eight, is this gonna be any better? Uh, I'm close to 50 eighth dimensions, which is enough to get a galaxy, and that really helps things. Oh, how do I only have two galaxies? Oh, I got a dimension boost. Great. 
That's the worst feeling. And Anna, Anna just ticks me to boost it, which means I have to reset my time dimension boost. So I keep thinking that long runs are better, but Anna got another dimension boost instead of... Okay, now I can get tick speed boosts. Yeah, going to longer runs like this, I don't think, is the best idea. Like, you can just see what I'm doing. I'm barely getting any more galaxy points. So, I probably should just now, honestly, get this. And once I, once I get that upgrade, now it's going to be a lot quicker. Because I, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm quick about it, which means I do this... And then I can just keep Galactic sacrificing for... So I probably want maybe a total of 4,000 Galaxy Points before I get the next upgrade. Maybe it is more worth it to go on longer runs now. You can see 48th Dimensions is easy. And once I get all the way up to 8 Time Dimension Boosts, it's pretty easy to get 58th Dimensions. Which means there's another Galaxy. Which means Tick Speed Boosts, Time Dimension Boosts. And it's, it's almost competitive, but it's just not quite there yet. So, yeah, um, I probably I may just want to get this upgrade and honestly just do some off-camera grinding of galaxy points because I think once I get that going, I'll be easily able to reach infinity. So I could even just do this, like not even get time dimension boosts. And this actually may be quicker. Actually, it is quicker. I'm getting almost 2,000 galaxy points points per minute. So this is like an ultra short run, and yet it still works better than like, not even just a long run, but even like a medium run. So yeah, I, I feel like, honestly, I even without holding M, it's a good strategy. I mean, even like, I'm still getting a thousand galaxy points per minute. So maybe what I'll do is I'll set the automation to 100 here, get this active, and just and just grind galaxy points. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.